Hi, welcome to NetSet OS. So from now onwards, let's study the data structure heap. If we come across Wikipedia, we find introduction as in computer science, a heap is a specialized tree based data structure, which is essentially an almost complete tree that satisfy heap property in a max heap for a given node C, C stands for child. If P is a parent node of C, then the key of P is always be greater than or equal to key of C. And then in min heap, the key of parent is less than or equal to the key of C. So this is a brief points of max heap, min heap. If we come down, we find various heap data structures, binary, leftist, binomial, Fibonacci, pairing, brodel, and etc. So first of all, we will come across binary heap tree. Heap is such an important data structure that majority of languages like Java is implementing it as priority queue. And if we come to Python, heap is implemented as heap queue. In this tutorial, we will come across the heap data structure with both languages, Java and Python. So let's know some basics of heap data structure. As we have read in Wikipedia, heap is a binary tree or three array tree. Three itself means which has three branches as well as almost complete binary tree. This we will know with some examples. So with these six structures, let us know is it a complete or almost complete binary tree. So first we have complete binary tree where we have three nodes. So I'll mark it as complete binary tree. When we come to second structure, this is almost complete binary tree as one node is missing, but anyhow it is a almost complete binary tree. But coming to third structure, is it a almost complete binary tree? No, because first level is here, which is the root. Then second level is here, but without filling second level, how we can go to third level? So here, first of all, there will be root. Second thing, we should start with left to right. Left and then right. And then we will come to third level. So third structure is not coming under complete binary tree or almost binary tree. Now if we come to fourth structure. Is it a heap? As first, there is a root. Then it is covering up with left and then right. That means it is covering up the second level. And then it is starting with third level, but on right child. So without going from left, it has covered right child first. So it is not a complete binary tree. When we come to fifth structure, let's check. First, it is covering up root then left and right. That means second level is completely filled. Then coming to third level, it has filled first left and then right. So this is a heap. When we come to sixth structure, root, left, then right, then left. So it is also a heap. So note, first point, we cannot go to third level before filling second level. And second point, it should fill left first and then right. Now let's see what is max heap and min heap. So max heap, it is a complete binary tree or almost binary tree in which root is maximum. When we see root in this entire tree, 150 is maximum among all the nodes. When we drop down, 
we see 50 here it will check in its subtree whether 50 is greater than 10 and 40 then thirdly coming to 100 it will check in its own subtree whether 100 is greater than 10 as it is following these conditions it is a max heap but coming to min heap min heap is a complete binary tree or almost binary tree in which root is minimum similarly we will check 10 among all the nodes 10 should be the minimum value among 30 40 90 and 60 that's what it is when we drop down and we see this subtree 30 should be minimum as compared to 90 and 60 and when we come to right side subtree as we don't have value over here so 40 is the minimum value so this is what min heap is heap can be implemented by two ways linked list as well as with array but Implementing heap by linked list takes more memory. So we usually use array. So it works on the rule. If root is i, then left child will be 2i and the right child will be 2i plus 1. So here also 2i plus 1. So when root is 1, so left child is 2i that means 2 into 1 2 and right child 2i plus 1 that means 2 into 1 plus 1 so 3. Now if we drop down this is 2i so our left child will be 2 into 2i and right child will be 2 into 2i plus 1. So, if we calculate 2 into 2, 4 and i is 1, so 4th index and here 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 1, 4 plus 1, this will be 5th index. Now, if I write index here, so it will be easy to fill value in the array, 1 index which has 10 value so we will fill out 10 then on the second index this is second index 30 so here 30 value has been filled coming to third index this is 3 40 and fourth index 90 fifth index 60 so this is how we can implement heap by array and here left child can be calculated by 2i and right child can be calculated by 2i plus 1. Now what if, if I have been given child index 3. So how I can calculate the parent, parent divided by 2. 3 divided by 2 is 1. Now what if, if I have fifth index 5. So it will be divided by 2 and it always takes lower bound. 2. So, fifth index parent is second index. So, this is how we can calculate parent index and child index. Now, let us take an array where we have 14, 13, 12, 10 and 8. So, let's see whether it follows heap or not. So, how we can fill it? First value will be root. So, I'll write root first, then left side 13, then right side 12, then it will fill left again 10 and then 8. In heap, either it will follow max heap or min heap. Now, if we see closely, 14 is greater than 13 and 12 both. When we drop down, 13 is greater than 10 and 8 both. So, this follows max heap. Let's take one more example. 26, 13, 17, 14, 11, 9 
and 15. I'll start implementing it. First, 26. So I'll write 26. Then I'll start with 13. 13. Then 17. Then 14. It will fill left first. Then 11. And then 9 and 15. So is it a heap? Let's check it out. If we see 26 is greater than both 13 and 17, then we will check left child, which is a parent of 14 and 11. But what can I see? 13 is less than 14, but greater than 11. So it is failing at second node only. So this is not following the property of max heap. So in the next video, I'll be coming up with how to insert, delete and search in a max as well as min heap. So stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.